गुड मॉर्निंग गुड आफ्टरनून एंड गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन सो टूडे आई गॉट गैलेक्सी नोट ट्वेंटी अल्ट्रा एक्सी नो चिप सेट फोर जी मोबाइल फोन एंड वी ऑल नो दैट दी गैलेक्सी नोट ट्वेंटी अल्ट्रा विल नॉट गेट वन यू आई सिक्स स्टॉक अपडेट ऑन दी मोबाइल फोन बट स्टिल यू कैन फ्लैश दी पोर्ट्रेट रॉम एंड यू कैन एन्जॉय दी वन यू आई सिक्स फीचर्स ऑन दी गैलेक्सी नोट ट्वेंटी अल्ट्रा दिस बेसिकली दिस इज दी पोर्ट्रेट रॉम टेकन फ्रॉम दी एस ट्वेंटी वन अल्ट्रा एंड पोर्टिंग इट फॉर दी नोट ट्वेंटी अल्ट्रा सो आई हैव अपडेटेड माई मोबाइल phone after unlocking the bootloader to one ui 6 and android 14 this is the volcano rom which will be working on the note 20 ultra 4g and 5g both variant but must be exynos chipset now the one ui 6 is bringing many fe- latest features like a t- a single tap to remove the picture from the background you want to change the background you can do that and you can uh, share this uh, separated pictures like uh, on the chat social chat media platform and you can save as image etc etc there are more one ui 6 features coming with the one ui 6 obviously and all the features are like working on the note 20 ultra and the device is certified because i have uh, make the device certified and uh, the safety net is also be- uh, get pass uh, what i have did i will show everything in this video now those who have the galaxy note 20 ultra uh, exynos chipset either 4g or 5g you want to flash this updated ported rom on your note 20 ultra but if you want to know how the rom is performing i already uploaded a review video i will uh, provide a link in this video description you can watch that video then you can decide either you want to flash this rom or not now if you want to flash this rom you need to watch this video concentrate with concentration do not miss anything do not skip anything i don't want you to make a mess with your to don't i don't want you to mess with your mobile phone so watch the video and uh, do not forget to like the video do not forget to subscribe my channel also click or tap the bell icon click or tap the select all thank you so much enjoy the video and enjoy the note 20 ultra after having the one ui 6 spotted rom so this is the xda forum website the developer thread where he uh, provided all the information about the note 20 ultra two variants uh, like 4g and 5g and uh, you need to come over here read all the things carefully then you will get know what uh, the information is pro- uh, provided over here come down here just want to tell you that there are two variants of the note 20 ultra n986b and n985f currently my mobile phone is n985f which is 4g and the 5g is the n986b both link provided on this website you can simply click the link like if your set is 5g and 986p you can click this link to download the volcan rom for the 5g note 20 ultra and for for the users of the n985f they they will supposed to click on this link to get the volcan rom and remember the n9868b and 986b Volcan ported ROM will not work on the N985F. All the information provided on this uh, website. Just go and read all the things. You will uh, have idea what exactly these are, and then go for the TWRP 3.7.0 C2S image dot TAR for the kernel SU file. this website link provided after clicking the link you will see this website come down here then click show all 131 assets then come down come down and uh, here we go kernel su 0.9.2 whatever the latest version uh, available just click the link and the file will start downloading extract the odin file then extra, open the uh, extracted folder of the ordin double click the ordin file click okay on this window ordin will open then uh, click ap go to your downloaded folder where you have downloaded all the files and uh, select the twrp 3.7.0 c2s click on it then click open then click cp go back to the downloaded folder and uh, click to select the vbmeta.tar then open so the ordin is ready to flash the recovery on the mobile phone now coming back towards the mobile phone well i have flashed the stock of firmware back on my mobile phone and i have relocked the bootloader to show the uh, method from the scratch we'll go to settings 
and we'll go to about phone this is the galaxy note 20 ultra the one i have is 4g mobile phone model number is n985f oblique ds my mobile phone is dual sim both ime numbers present over here we'll go to software information so mobile phone got one ui version 5.1 and y13 and uh, the build number that currently i have is the wl1 wl1 the mobile phone came with this firmware so i download this particular firmware and i reflash the stock firmware on my mobile phone i do not have any problem i will flash the custom recovery with the vp meta tar file and things will uh, be done easily in case if your mobile phone is updated to the later or the latest version then you need to go to that uh, website the xda forum and you need to read all the information from there you will get the latest uh, build number vp meter file from there and the recovery will be same right so we have to tap the build number for seven times one two three four five six seven the developer mode has been enabled go back to the main setting menu then scroll down click developer tap the developer option and uh, you will see the oem unlocking over here in case like i can see oem unlocking is prominent and i can uh, tap to turn on the OEM, uh, oem unlocking but in case if your set got factory reset and you check that the oem is not enabled over here or not can be seen over here then you need to do this go back connect the internet tap software update check download and install once the mobile phone will connect to the server will check the update in case if your set is up to date it will show that the mobile phone is up to date then go back and scroll down go to developer option and you will see the oem unlocking will be back and will be prominent just tap to uh, turn on the oem unlocking then tap enable done and you can now go back so in case if you are uh, having accounts like a samsung account must sync or if you do not want to sync then must remove the samsung account otherwise the mobile phone will not uh, take the custom recovery same thing you must sync your google account once and must remove it and then uh, go to the lock screen and select the uh, lock screen swipe to turn off the lock screen well if you have done all these things then simply power off the mobile phone now we need to boot the mobile phone into audience mode so check the other side cable must be connected with the computer and uh, always use a good quality of cable do not use the oldest or the bad quality cable for the flashing now the mobile phone must be power off we, we need to put the mo mobile phone into audience mode first we will unlock the bootloader for booting the mobile phone into audience mode press and hold the volume up key volume down key that's all connect the cable with the mobile phone in few seconds the mobile phone will show a warning screen then release both keys immediately now on this screen press and hold the volume up key to go to the bootloader screen then release the uh, volume up key immediately now on this screen unlock bootloader press and hold the volume up key for a few seconds the mobile phone will get restart and immediately release the keys and then press and hold the volume up key volume down key and power key to let the set boot into Odin mode once again when set restart immediately release the power key and then release the volume up and volume down key when you see this warning screen once again now press the volume up key once to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode now the Odin mode screen must be like the frp lock must be off the oem lock must be off and the bracket in the bracket you will see u which means that the mobile phone boot loader is already unlocked now coming back towards the computer screen the audience is ready go to the options untick the auto reboot go back to lock then click on start to start flashing the recovery start it and done when you see pass message which means that recovery got flashed tap reset click uh, click reset click exit and go back to downloaded folder coming back towards the mobile phone screen mobile phone still booted into audience mode connected with the computer with the cable now we have to boot the mobile mobile phone into custom recovery now here i would like to see and your concentration is required here 
प्रेस एंड होल्ड दी वॉल्यूम अप की वॉल्यूम डाउन की एंड पावर की वैन मोबाइल फोन गेट्स री स्टार्ट इमीडिएटली रिलीज दी वॉल्यूम डाउन की फर्स्ट वैन यू सी दी लोगो दैन इमीडिएटली रिलीज दी पावर की एंड वैन यू सी दी टी डब्ल्यू आर पी स्क्रीन दैन रिलीज दी वॉल्यूम अप की स्टार्टिंग द प्रोसीजर वॉल्यूम अप वॉल्यूम डाउन एंड पावर की जस्ट वेट रिलीज दी वॉल्यूम डाउन की फर्स्ट लोगो अपेयर्स रिलीज दी पावर की जस्ट वेट and release the volume up key set is booted into or uh, twrp on this twrp tap wipe tap format data type yes and tap here go back to main screen tap reboot tap recovery and we got the internal storage on the computer screen also we'll go to my downloaded folder and i will copy the discovery name and volcano rom file from the downloaded folder copy both files discovery name and volcano 985 the discovery name is only for the 985f this discovery name is not for the n986b is this is not for the 5g variant this is only for the 4g variant now go to the internal storage of the mobile phone and paste both file on the internal storage Okay we got both the files copied on the internal storage coming back towards the mobile phone screen so I have to unlock the recovery screen then uh, tap wipe then tap advanced wipe select the delvec art cache data prism optics cache that's all right these 1 2 3 4 5 five partitions i have selected and then swipe to start uh, wiping then go back to main screen then tap install and then select the rom file first by tapping on it and then swipe to start flash okay the flashing got succeeded go back to this screen and tap select the discovery name by tapping on it and then swipe turn and reboot system because the bootloader is unlocked so this screen will appear just press the power key to skip this screen mobile phone started booting to one ui6 now wait for it the first boot will take a little long time well finally the first boot completed now complete the setup screen so we got the rom flash very perfectly i will make some changes in my fonts we'll go to about phone and uh, here you can see now in my review video this was a galaxy note 20 ultra 5g but after flashing the discovery name the the things got okay now galaxy note 20 ultra 4g Yes my my mobile phone is uh, 4G and uh, both IME numbers present we'll tap the software information so the mobile phone got updated from one UI 5.1 to one UI 6.0 and wide version 14 and the volcano rom for the note 20 ultra and one more thing that kernel version if you see that ksu which means that kernel su is already coming with the rom so there is no need to flash the images separately you can simply install the kernel su application that i just uh, that i showed how to download from the website and simply i will try to install it the internal storage got appears on my mobile phone, on my computer screen we'll go to download your folder and this time i will copy the bluetooth library patcher file and the kernel su file and the play integrity fix file i will copy these file from the downloaded folder then we'll go to my internal storage of, of my mobile phone and we'll paste all the files over here we got the three files and now i can disconnect the uh, cable from the mobile phone unlock the screen first connect the internet if you have uh, internet available okay we got the internet and then we'll go to menu we'll try to open the my files internal storage tap essentials select the all scroll down and first install the kernel su apk file settings give permission then tap install done tap open 
to open the kernel SU. Things are okay with the kernel SU because the set is got rooted. Now tap the uh, this third menu and tap install and then tap recent select my Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and scroll down change the view if you want scroll down first install the play integrity fix file by tapping on it done go back and tap install once again scroll down select the bluetooth library patcher done and go back one more module we have to install so we have to download this and digest next module file also to install it on with the kernel su link provided click the link and download this module file on your computer hard drive so i will connect the cable once again with my mobile phone internal storage got appears will go to my downloaded folder and i will copy these i just next find the module file from here and I will paste the file uh, on the internal storage of my mobile phone. Okay, done. Disconnect the cable. Once again, we are done from the computer. Once again, tap install and so scroll down and select the Zyges next file by tapping on it. Installation started. And when it is done, then finally you can tap the reboot. So finally we got all the things on the mobile phone after installing everything like kernel su and modules then we need to do this thing which is very important uh, keep tap on the play store then tap this menu and go to the details of the particular software or application then tap storage and tap clear data clear all data delete then that's all and then go to settings then to apps and tap here and tap show system apps tap ok search for play and this time select the google play services and scroll down select the storage then select clear data may clear all data delete and done now i will uh, open the kernel su application and i will go to the modules to check all the modules are working it is turned on no red lines between them everything very perfect now simply log in your gmail account open the play store start downloading your uh, favorite application from the play store log in your samsung account open the galaxy store it will start updating and all the things will be working very perfectly the camera application take pictures do the ai image things etc etc and uh, you will see the new control center coming with the one ui6 on the note 20 ultra so all things done perfectly do not forget to like the video subscribe my channel keep liking the videos keep watching the videos thank you so much we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye